You look at many great inventions, pieces of art, whatever it is through history, you'll probably find behind it someone who thought differently. When you're doing art, you're meant to be challenging something. If you're not challenging something, you're probably not doing your job. You've got to push some boundaries somewhere. There was a way that films were made and we kind of went, that's cool. We're going to go do this though and see what happens. And shit happened. Strange things are happening deep beneath Sydney. Dark and horrible things involving television news crews. Thankfully, it's just a team of movie makers shooting a low budget horror flick in a very low place. You, you realise that the actual film is more important than the behind the scenes stuff because you we seem to be putting a bit more work in that. Well, I'm just making sure that it's a film shooting or something. We have a nice doco. <laughs> Three, two, one, action! They're raising the money as they go. Fucking tell me John knows what you're Selling the film's 135,000 frames for a dollar each. It's only really now, you know, things like crypto is coming up or NFTs. People are now starting to auction off digital art. I mean, man, we were kind of doing that 10 years ago. We were giving it away for free and everyone was telling us we were nuts and within two or three years, everyone was making web series and giving them away for free. This is on BitTorrent. Is, aren't they yes. supposed to be the enemy? What if we tried to capture that audience and fold them into our strategy? It's part film, part internet experiment. 100% I think the tunnel was a unique little beast. The buzz around the tunnel at the time was that these guys are real disruptors. We definitely didn't do things the way they were meant to be done. It was all anybody in the independent film world was talking about. We didn't wait for people to tell us that we could go make this film. We didn't fund it the way people normally fund films. The Australian system needed a bit of a jolt and what the tunnel was delivering had that in spades. And I thought that the, the story of the tunnel is very similar to Blair Witch and very similar to Clerks and, you know, El Mariachi, all these movies where, like, these people just kind of came together and raised some money and kind of made a movie, you know, because they wanted to. Within five minutes, the Prime Minister of Australia is, like, hopping out of the car. <laughs> yeah. That guy let us in. <laughs> but I think, above all, it's actually a really good film. We probably should have done a whole bunch more thinking about what are we going to do when this film comes out and, you know, all this, but really didn't give a shit. It was, you know, let's go make a fucking film.